Hamtech Zioc receiver. At the moment, we're on CB band. If you've just got one of these, don't worry. They do attach many instruction manuals to this via QR codes and more. So the basics are, you've got your on off here button on the side. And at the top, you've got your AM, FM. It's behind the antenna port. You've got a little switch there. On the left, it's AM. On the right, it's FM. Big battery. Get the assembled model, as you can see. Built-in speaker, external headphone jack or speaker here. You've got USB for charging here. And there's another USB where you can actually plug your phone in and charge your phone. Inside, you've got a brief description of what the device does, which says... FM 64 to 108, AM 150 to 30, that's SSB, LSB as well. Get that closer, and then you've got speaker output, input, and then I'm not sure why it says input, I'm not sure what that means. Then it's quite hard to see, but it does say Wi-Fi, OTA, SOS, weather, and time. So there is Wi-Fi on this, and once you configure Wi-Fi, it will update. On the right-hand side, there's a couple more switches I notice here. Uh, on the on the right hand side where you press items and there's a switch up and down white switch here according to the instruction manual the bottom one is the external speaker switch and the top one keep losing focus here turn light return so it seems like you can turn on a torch here when as well and it, i did see the torch come on earlier so there's basically a, a built-in torch and it's quite a big torch You've got the thing that says here, bass speaker, showing you this speaker. Uh, trying to, there's another switch here, and that switch is called the charge discharge control. So I think when you press it, it discharges the battery. Press it again, hopefully that'll go off. Anyway, the, it did go off, the LED light went off as well. And the top left switch just says power on off. So that's what I'm seeing. So when it comes down to actually using this device, you turn it on, it speaks in Chinese to you straight away. Uh, I have got an external antenna. You can use the included telescopic antenna. Just press it and it comes to life with the speaker. Now to do the volume, I'm on this band at the moment. Just press it and then look volume. So we'll keep that low for the moment. If you press it again, when you start to see that this one says CB, you can start to turn this large VFO. So now it says 10 meters, and remember we're on AM at the moment. You have got all, so that is, I'm guessing, everything this device can do. Let's go back to all. 150, I didn't stay there for long, look, 150 to 3000. Then you've got VHF, which to me is the broadcast station, so I can't see airbound there. 64 to 108, long wave, 150 to 531. And I'm turning, five, I'm turning this knob as we do this. 17,000 to 3,000, you've got 80 meters. When you choose one you want to listen to, let's say we want to listen to 40 meters, press the large VFO. Uh, in this bro, press it again. Look, see that? It's found LSB. I don't think I did anything. It's, oh, I did, as I'm turning it, it's selecting AM. There is a delay. LSB. We like that. So let's press it. We can adjust the BFO. The BW bandwidth, I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm going to leave it on 4 because it sounds better. AGC. I think that's like a tone thing. See, if you, oh yeah, I've seen that. If you press it, it will start to scan. We don't want that. We don't want auto, oh, it's done it already, auto seek. And see that, it does come up with some kind of band scope. Now, I haven't worked out how to come back from that. But yeah, there is some sort of band scope there. But it doesn't, it's not really showing me how to come out of that. Let's push a few buttons. Um, I'm sure there's a way, if I hold it. Yeah, I'm not sure how to come out of the seek. That's the speaker. Pressing that, no. I know I can turn it on and off. No, the power drain doesn't do anything. Ah! I pressed that one, it did stop. So let's press that again. 
And now look how good this sounds. And this is not the external speaker. I will plug in my external speaker. So let's just push it once, turn up the volume. Push it again. Keep pressing. You're back there. Now let's get my external speaker. Okay, got my external speaker. Well, let's find some station first. I'm not really sure how to fine tune yet. I'll just plug in that external speaker. Like so, and then we're going to flick that switch, which is here on the side. Oh, might have to turn it off and on. I've literally had this half an hour, so I'm just playing around. So I can hear the speaker, but it's not very loud. Yeah, it's not very loud. So maybe it's the wrong kind of speaker to use. Maybe it's, you know, the Ohms ETC. So that's fine. We'll flick back to the... So have a play, you got an idea how it works. So the thing we need to know is the fine tune really, how do we fine tune that? But it's, it's, you know, it's working so well. Let me turn up my HF radio and compare. Yeah, let's turn it louder. I'll unplug that speaker. Ah, there you go, the BFO. That sounds good, doesn't it? And it all came back to uh, back to life, night, uh, back to you for a quick one. Yeah, I did that at the beginning, and I even shut, I shut it off. But uh, manually, I had to uh, to remove the uh, picture and put that in my custom one. So I managed to do that a couple meters back to normal. Come on, it's a no-brainer. Thirty-five pounds. Uh, uh, Hamtech, welcome to my channel, MZRFXP. Bye for now.